Here's another example of how to solve a linear inequality in two variables. Uh, now notice that it's not in your standard form. You would like the y on one side and everything else on the other side, so I'm going to rewrite this inequality. I'm going to move the y over here and the 4 this way. So this becomes a minus y, just like with an equation. When you cross an equality sign, the sign changes. So you get a minus y is less than, uh, write the 2x first, and then when the 4 goes across, it becomes a minus 4. Now I don't like the negative y here, so I'm going to change that to a positive y, but remember, when you multiply both sides of inequality, you have to flip the inequality sign over. So this can be written as a negative 1 times a minus y is now greater than, because I'm multiplying by negative 1, I flip the symbol across, uh, symbol over, so we get 2x minus 4 times a negative 1. Now we go ahead and we apply that, so we have a positive y is greater than a negative 2x plus 4. Now we're ready to solve this inequality. Again, to find the boundary of the inequality, we want to write its equivalent equation. We write y is equal to minus 2x plus 4, and plot this on an xy plane. So there's my y-axis, there's my x-axis. This looks just like a linear equation in the form y equals mx plus b, where b is the intercept, in this case 4, m is the slope, in this case a minus 2. So find the point y equals positive 4 right there. And the slope is a negative 2. That means you fall 2 for every run of 1. So go down 2, go over 1, go down 2, go over 1, go down 2, go over 1. Notice that all those points fall in a straight line. Since we only have a less than symbol, not an equal symbol, the boundary itself is not part of the solution which means that we're going to draw a dashed line. The dashed line indicates there's the boundary between the region that satisfies inequality and the region that does not satisfy the inequality, and the boundary does, is not included here. Any points on the boundary is not part of the solution. Now to figure out which of the two regions, to the left or the right, of that boundary uh, satisfies the inequality, we're going to try a test point. We take any point, but 0, 0 is always a good point to choose plug 0, 0 into the inequality. So, since I rewrote the inequality like this, let's plug that point into the inequality right here, plug in 0 for x, 0 for y, we get 0 is less than, question mark, because we don't know if it is, we have to figure it out, minus 2 times 0 plus 4, so 0 greater than, question mark, uh, well that's 0, so 4, and the answer is obviously no, that's not the case which means the point that I chose lies in the region that does not satisfy the inequality, which means the other side does, and so let's shade in the side that does. And there you go, we have a graphical representation of the region that satisfies this inequality. With other words, any point in this region plugged into the inequality will make that a true statement, and any point on the line will not, so, and as, just as well as the other side, the left side, any point chosen from that region does not satisfy the inequality. All right, I hope that this helps you understand how to do these types of problems. We'll now move on to the next topic when we do a whole system of these linear inequalities and see how you deal with that.